let's correct the gradients of this image. As in the previous example, we have a gradient that is very bright and simple with a very steep slope from the right to the left. For now, we'll turn off structure protection and apply the tool with the default parameters. Using these parameters, the gradient disappears completely, but we can see an obvious overcorrection in the faintest areas of this nebula. Or this entire nebula almost at the sky background level. This is because we are modeling the objects too much. We can check this if we generate the gradient model. Since gradient correction acts on the entire image, there will always be a contribution from objects in the gradient model. But we can minimize this with the appropriate parameters. Using the default parameters, we are modeling the nebula on the right and part of the cloud on the left. Since this is a very smooth gradient, let's first increase the scale and smoothness. If we compare, we can see less contribution from the nebulae to the model. But this means that the gradients are not entirely corrected. Compared to the previous result, we can see that this gradient is not completely linear since the slope increases on the left and right edges. Therefore, by increasing the scale and smoothness, we can no longer model it completely. We'll try with automatic convergence enabled. Now the sides are better corrected. However, differentiating the objects in this image is difficult because they are very diffuse and delicate nebulae, which are easy to overcorrect. Before looking for better parameter values, we can enable the simplified model. This image has a very smooth linear gradient with a very strong variation in brightness. Applying a linear model using a degree 1 polynomial will flatten the image before executing the tool's main algorithm. With a simplified model, we can completely correct the gradients and avoid overcorrection in the weakest and most diffuse nebulae. Therefore, this option simplifies working with the tool. Finally, let's see if structure protection helps us in this image. Indeed, with structure protection, we avoid the little overcorrection that remained on these very extensive and diffuse objects. If we generate the gradient model, we can see that there are no traces of any of the objects, and we have managed to isolate the gradients of the image completely. If we review the results, this is the original image, this is with the default parameters, this is with increased scale and smoothing, this is activating automatic convergence. This is activating the simplified model with degree 1 polynomial. And this is with structure protection enabled. This image is a complicated case because it has a strong vignetting pattern at the brightness level of the objects. Additionally, this area of the sky is filled with very faint nebulae. To make it even more difficult, vignetting has very abrupt edges, which are really difficult to model. 
In principle, we'll deactivate structure protection and apply the tool with its default parameters. Some vignetting is still left, so let's turn on automatic convergence. The gradients are better corrected now, but we probably affect the most diffuse nebulae. We need a small scale and smoothness to correct these abrupt illumination changes, but this will affect these large and low surface brightness nebulae. We can check this if we activate the generation of the gradient model. By generating the gradient model, we can see that the entire Barnard loop is represented and, likely, there is a contribution from the nebulae in the center of the image. Correcting the gradients in this image would be very complicated, but by activating the simplified model, we can reach a good solution without modifying so many parameters. Remember that we must start with a minimum degree and increase it until it corrects the image well without modeling the objects and causing oscillations. In this image, a polynomial of degree 4 manages to model the vignetting very well. By performing the initial correction with polynomials, we achieve a lower representation of diffuse objects in the model. The result is a much more efficient and robust gradient correction. To make a better comparison, we need to neutralize the background sky, which is affecting the visibility of the reddish nebulae. To do this, we select this corner as the reference area for neutralization. We go to Background Neutralization, select Preview 1 as the region of interest, and apply it to both previews. With a simplified model, we have managed to preserve the entire Barnard loop much better and homogenize all the nebulae in this area. In addition, the main gradient correction algorithm adapts much better to the image, avoiding edge effects. Remember that with the same screen stretching parameters, this was the original image.